Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access where I've decided to expand upon my notion that we should build more horizontally and test the game with this. This is a Duna City. Well, that's what I've called it. I could uh, conceive of bigger things, but they could hardly fit very well in the space that we have here. In fact, I don't think I'm even going to launch this on the launch pad. We're probably going to launch it on the runway and see uh, because the tower would probably interfere with this. Uh, but yes, it's just a whole bunch of base modules, mainly Wayfarers, uh, all strung together. And we are going to see if we can get over to Duna. Uh, we have Delta V of some sort. Uh, it's potentially enough to send something to Duna and land it on the surface. But will it be? I don't know. It's pretty tight, actually. And thrust to weight ratio wise, well, sort of okay. We're currently 245 parts and 1,266 tons. Now, is this a good idea? No. And in fact, I fully expect it to explode completely when we bring it outside. I have not tried to bring it outside so far. I just built it. One reason is because I haven't put any struts on. But we're going to enjoy the explosion when it does. And so that is not a fault of the game. I, I didn't expect that the game would keep something like this stable. Uh, without any struts. I think I think it's reasonable to have to put struts on something like this, but we'll figure out exactly how many struts we need. But I do want to see what happens when we bring it outside without any supports. So we are going to do that. And uh, let's bring it out to the launch pad first. Let's recover what's on launch pad one. We'll go with launch pad one, which is currently my favorite launch pad, and let's see what happens. Uh uh, 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 it's interesting, right? It's it's like sort of more stable than the stuff that we build tall, right? Isn't it? Isn't it that the stuff that we build tall it all goes wrecked and really quickly, but something that's wide like this seems to actually hang together better. I maintain that that is the case right now with KSB2. Uh, so, yeah, actually it's not too bad. I mean, it didn't all fall apart, right? I think this is very hopeful. Um, I, I'm i interested to launch it right now. <laughs> okay, all right, ready? Oh, so it's really deciding what to do about this. I did release the launch clamps. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Hmm. Interesting it's not going up. This is an interesting wrinkle to the plan. It's not going down either. And... Only these two engines are firing, so those those two are have been lost somehow. Um, the clamps are still on those, as you can see. Those those are still clamped. Well, that was a more peculiar sort of failure than I thought, but it seems to be because it was unclear about whether those extra boosters were still attached or not, or whether we were caught on them. So, okay. Let's see what happens on the runway. But that was better than I expected. Uh, the tower did not interfere with it or anything. It seems more or less the same out here. But if you're going to build something big, you have, you have to use the runway, I think. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Uh, let, let's go with low thrust first. Okay, and then build up. Yeah, I think uh, some of them bang into the launch clamps. I think it's just complete destruction this time. They certainly did a lot of work on the explosions. Do 
But a suspicious amount of this remained intact. I think more of it would have exploded, darn it. All right. So, uh, revert. So it doesn't seem like we need to do too much. Uh, we can very clearly see where the problem places are. So we're going to make sure that, of course, the boosters are strutted first. But the outer arms are definitely wobbly. Getting around this thing is hard, though. Okay, well, that brings us to 325 parts now with the struts. Let's save and see if we have enough. I, I wouldn't say so. It's definitely flexing. Right? It's definitely flexing. Oh, these seem to be a little bit weird, too. They're... they're... Uh, we, we, we probably need to strut the bottom of this one. I'm gonna bring it in and just go ahead with that. Oh gosh. No, I can't see anything. Oh, I don't think I strutted that right at all. It does bring these things out fairly quickly. Oh! It broke apart immediately this time. Hmm. So, yeah, sometimes overstrutting is a problem. Look at that. It flexes even more right now. And that tank actually dropped off. So that's suspicious, isn't it? Maybe I did something that disconnected a whole bunch of struts, because that seemed to be what happened there. I felt that struts that had been active suddenly got inactive. They're, they seem to be connected. But it's like, if there's one faulty strut, the whole strut system falls apart kind of thing. Let me just remove the ones that I just placed. I hate how it changes the camera position after I do something, though. I don't know, I, think, I feel like it's thinking harder about it now, and that's causing it to have a problem. It's actually operating worse than before. Okay, I've... Uh, Loaded up a previous autosave of it, and this one is the one without struts. And I'm curious to see now what happens when we bring it out to the runway. Remember what happened when we bring it, brought it out to the runway before? Let's see what happens now. So this is the one that we didn't have struts with, right? Let me sort of remember what happened there. We were able to get to launching it. Something has disconnected. But it didn't give the all is bad dialogue yet. So it's actually somewhat better than... But things have fallen off, so... We only have one engine there. Instead of four. That hasn't totally given up on it. It's interesting. Okay, so I've put new struts on and we're up to 313 parts. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's definitely flexing. It's dropped one of the boosters. Including that tank. Okay, well, I'll have to reattach. No, I'll have to strip that too. But most of it seems pretty stable. Will it be consistent though? If I strut it, will it get better? So just struts on the additional swerve tanks, because we've got three swerves here. Between the outer ones and the center one, and let's see how it goes. It's interesting, right? It seems like it gets worse when we add those struts on. And it's between the, the hydrogen tanks. And everything flexes more when I add those. Hmm. So that's a bit peculiar, isn't it? That is not what we would expect. I mean, just now, uh, we, we had struts and it wasn't flexing like this. And then suddenly I put struts and I put them 
between uh, it's tough to see uh, these tanks and those tanks you can see that the struts have disconnected in fact the struts have disconnected on everything it's like there's a strut limit and yeah uh, I just added struts from these tanks to those tanks so that tank to this tank uh, to make sure that they were more stable and every strut disconnected and it's all gone pear-shaped well whatever shape this is but we are learning something there is something going on here so I've removed the ones that I had added added before it's very slow it's dropped the two big boosters. So, well, I mean, the reason why I wanted to strut those things is I wanted to make sure that those did not drop off. Everything else is fine. I mean, and off is, uh, well, it's a complicated term because they're not really dropping all the way, you see. And the reason seems to be that I surface mounted these liquid uh, hydrogen fuel tanks to that one. So maybe if I don't surface mount them and mount them via decouplers instead, even though I don't intend to separate them at all, maybe that'll be more stable and allow us to strut it. Strutting things that are surface mounted may be a problem. So that's the theory I'm going with and we are going to try to do that. Because everything else, now that the struts aren't disappearing on everything, uh, everything else seems stable. I mean, you know, once we launch it'll be a different story. but. Let's see. We've got all, a whole bunch of open nodes at the top, I'm aware of that. But I'm curious about drag in the game right now. Okay, more rocket surgery. Oh, you know what? I, I've made a mistake here. It, it seems like these are clipping into that. So maybe that's a problem too. Probably that's a problem too. I think these are clipping into those a little bit. And that clipping might also be part of the reason why it's not very stable. Anyway, let's take those off and try and space them properly. Oh, fudge. It's giving me ghosts of them all over the place. Oh, no. I don't want the ghosts. Ah, uh, look at all the ghosts. I may still be clipping a little bit. Tweaked it out, but... That's dodgy too. Now can I strut it maybe? There is always rigid attachment. That's another option in a pinch. And we'll go there if it doesn't work, but let's see. Alright, now I've got them on a decoupler instead of on uh, the... It's just surface attachment. So let's see, and we'll stick to the runway for now. No, it's flexing. These we don't actually ever want to have decouple. Okay. Uh, well, we still have all the engines, so we might as well try. Uh... Ah... Okay, big fireball. Still, lots of pieces left. Lots of pieces left. I feel like mainly the engines go. Let, let me try it on the launch pad. Oh, I can dump the mod propellant. I keep forgetting that. Ah, oh, it automatically uh, lost the structural linkage between a decoupler and the hydrogen tank. Uh, okay, well, let's see what the effect of just having rigid attachments might be. So, settings. Unbreakable joints. Well, let's see what that does. So now the joints are unbreakable. 
Okay. Right. Right. Let's try it. It's going up! It's going up! <laughs> well, of course, with unbreakable joints, you know. It's not actually entirely sure whether it's going up or not. Sometimes it, like, decelerates a bit. We're not gonna turn anytime soon. I just want to make that clear. I feel like some of these decouplers need cross feeding. Okay, now they're all even. I, I want all their thrust for the whole time. Okay. There's truly old Kerbal ways here. Uh oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh, we really shouldn't try to turn stop. <laughs> uh, I don't really trust SAS in prograde mode, so that's why I'm not using that right now. Like, uh, it would be an interesting t test to see if uh, just putting nose cones on top of the modules will help us at all as far as performance. Uh, it's leaning to the wrong side. <laughs> come on. Come on. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, maybe I'll try that probe thing. Uh, that's not probe though. Do better. Uh oh. Oh no, it's doing worse than I did. Uh oh, I don't want to go retrograde. Uh oh, uh oh, I don't think I have a choice anymore. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're at the speed, so it is transonic and it's not happy about it. I guess we'll go retrograde? I don't know, I think I want to go prograde still. But can I? Let's try and go horizontal. Or more horizontal. We're losing delta V here. Well, that's not enough delta V. We're going to have to add more fuel to this. Whoa, the flex! Okay, I, I want to see the booster set. Huh? Where are they going? Because I need to see whether they bump into... That doesn't seem to be the way I wanted them to go. Oh, oh, why are they going up? See, they, I, I actually had the Severtrons pointed downwards. I mean, not pointed downwards, but pointed so that they would go downwards. But that does not seem to have... Maybe we should just release them with very low impulse and use the engine thrust from the next stage to move on. They didn't do too much damage though, I don't think. Maybe I should add struts between these. It's nice to have the arms free though. Well, we're not going to make orbit like this. We really need the boosters to do more work. Alright, 
Um, so back to the VAB here. I don't think there's any choice but to leave the unbreakable joints on for this. Um, I'm going to add those boosters in more symmetry. And... I could, but we don't really need the extra swerves, so that's the pickle here. Hmm. Well, actually, let me think about this a little bit and see how I can improve it so that I can get to orbit. But this is the idea. Of course, uh, we'll put some some caps on the top of all of those modules so that we get less drag potentially. But we'll have to compare how that works with what we just did. And maybe maybe we won't get less drag. Who knows? But I think what I'm going to do is use uh, the adapters and then put a small nose cone rather than use a huge nose cone on everything because I think it'll break the look of the thing if I use the huge nose cone. But I'll have to review the separatrons as well. You can sort of see they're, they're pointed upwards so that the boosters will go down and they all are pointed that way. So why they ended up going up, I'm not sure. Everything would have the same inertia. So I'll wrap it up here for uh, this time. And so our first attempts with the Duna City have been instructive, but not successful. And we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, perhaps yeah, you will have some suggestions. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.